man. It's bad. It's real bad. I don't know what to do. This could look bad. It was happening. It's all the stuff for a wrap on the roof of my car came in and the weather's really nice today. So I think I might make an attempt to do it. I might be doing it by myself. A lot of prep work that needs to be done. And I'm gonna try to do it outdoors, which is kind of a no-no for wrapping your car, but I kind of still just want to do it. I don't know. I've been watching a couple videos on how to do it. I think I got the materials down. I ordered a bunch of stuff off of Amazon. I think that's it. I'm never gonna have a garage to do this in, so I think I might just give it a shot anyways. I guess we'll see what happens. I'll try it out, but if there's any sort of red flags, I might have to bail on the whole thing, so I might, it might just be me ending up uh, washing my car. Which is not the worst thing, but this might be a waste of video. <laughs> we'll see. Again with the car. First thing I gotta do gotta take out. I figure out how to take out this bad boy. Alright, I popped off these tabs right here. Right there, one of them flew out the door, so I'm gonna keep this. Anything with taps and stuff, I should just keep the door open. Kind of hard to film this part, so probably won't film much of it. But what I'm gonna do is take off this little liner for a second, and then um, I gotta unscrew a, uh, like a bolt or like a nut or something in there so I can pull off that antenna. Let's see if I can, uh, yeah, there's not a good spot for this to even show that angle, so. How are you getting sweaty? Good sign. Oh my god, that was that was needlessly complicated. Don't ask me how long it took, but I think I'm good to go now. Yeah, that was not fun. Oh. All right. Um, quick failure update. 
I've been trying to take off this roof molding and I keep breaking these clips. So pour a couple out for these clips. I don't even know how many I can get through without breaking them. Ugh. Let's buy more money, let's go. Let's buy some replacements. Oh God. Yeah, it's been a pain in the ass and I don't, I don't really want to film it, but I'm just having a hell of a time taking, taking this off and I broke that clip. That one's good. I mean, maybe I'll be good if I just do every, break every other. But yeah, I just keep, I just keep breaking these things. I mean, if I get mad enough, maybe I'll just break them all and then replace all of them. So they're all new ones. <sighs> so annoying. Yeah, just ended up breaking all of them. Maybe saved one. Whatever, I'm just... Let me put in order for some replacements real quick. Molding clip update. Broke all these, but I somehow salvaged... That one's broken. Somehow salvaged two on that uh, molding. I think it's enough to get it back on there. I could probably drive with that back home, but I, de I definitely gotta order replacement ones. Man, those things are, those things were a bitch. There's like no way to take those off without breaking them. That was, that, that was stupid. So I just ended up salvaging two on each side, miraculously. I wasn't trying to, it's, that's just how it happened. Now I gotta clean the roof, do a little bit of detailing on the roof. There's a bunch of dirt and dust in there that I'm gonna have to clean out. But in terms of the roof wrap, I only need to get to like down here so it can tuck under, but still, yeah. I need to clean. I don't really know if I wanna get that on camera either because that part doesn't seem too fun. I'm not really, I'm not doing a tutorial. I'm just showing you my experience, which so far is not great. So, I think I'm gonna look at some more videos real quick just to, just as a recap of, of what to do and then I'm gonna continue. I've been cleaning the crap out of this roof, but I can't really tell. I mean, it looks like there's a rust spot right there, but I just can't even tell if it's ready to go. I mean, we're outside, so it's, I keep catching stuff blowing onto it. And then these corners right here, it's pretty tough to see. So, so much gunk and stuff, just really, really tucked in there. I also got this sunroof. And there's, I didn't realize there was that little silver piece right there. Kind of acts like a wind guard, I guess. So I got it a little bit open just so there's, so the edges over here are uh, ready to be like wrapped. I can, it kind of saves a bunch of space for the wrap to go. So maybe that'll be helpful. But yeah, I haven't been documenting much because it's hard to get like a good angle on it and it's very boring. I've just been, you know, spraying this is isopropyl alcohol in a rag and spraying and switching out rags and wiping down. At one point I was using a clay mitt, but uh, I don't know what the hell I'm doing with that either. I don't even know if I'm using that correctly. So I'm hoping I did this right. I mean, it's looking to the naked eye. It's like decently clean, especially the, the main area over here. Like even this video looks like it's like reflective almost. I don't know, that's not really a good indicator. Maybe get up close, you know, there's that rough spot right there that I didn't even know was there. And then the edges over here, it's still a little like grimy in there, but uh, that's probably where I'm gonna stop the wrap. I think I'm gonna set the camera up on this tripod I got set up over here, just so I can capture my attempt. Oh boy, yeah, I'm, 
I'm, I'm not ready to do this. The longer I go, the more dust and debris is gonna get on here because we're just outside. So I think, I think it's pretty time sensitive. Let me set up this on the tripod and then I'll try to capture whatever's, whatever's left or whatever I'm doing. So hopefully you can see like what I'm doing. I got stuff called tack cloth. Yeah, yeah, it is a little sticky. It's got a little like residue on there to pick up dust and stuff. So I'm gonna try to do that real quick. Hand, so I can't quite tell if it's doing anything. I mean, it's smooth over, over the car, but I, can't, I just can't tell if it's picking anything up. It does feel like it's gonna help, it's gonna help this thing stick. Oh. Damn, I should wear a glove. This is real sticky stuff. I think I'm just leaving handprints. Yeah, if you don't want dust on anything ever again, this is so. I don't know if you can see it. It's super sticky. Honestly, now I just got sticky shit all over my hand. Oh, I can't even get it off. Gross. Alright, well, maybe that made it worse. All right, well, nothing left to do. I'm sure I'm doing this wrong. to show people not to do. What a mess. All right, let's go see if I wasted any bucks.
Yeah, Boo Bar. Mess it up so bad, I think I gotta just cut into the air bubbles and try to squeeze them out. I don't know, man. It's bad. It's real bad. I don't know what to do. This could look bad. Problem is, I can't even rip. Can't even rip it off. All right, running really low on battery, but a little update. Um, I pretty much ripped half of it off and really jacked it up, and I was like, screw it. Laid it back on, did the best I could. Now I'm gonna squeegee it on and then go from there, assess from there, but might as well have a okay wrap job if I can't have a, I, I mean, I'd rather have that than, a, than nothing. Yeah, all I'm doing is spraying some water and squeezing the top right now and seeing, just seeing where we're at. So, I don't know. I don't even know if I want to keep filming this. As good as it's gonna get. It's gonna get dark soon, so I need to move on. Another all day project. All right, I think it's time for cutting. All right, I'm gonna do the back, but it's kind of, I'm, I'm plugged in, so I can't really bring the camera, so I'm gonna try to see if I can zoom. Get a decent zoom on the back, but yeah, this is not gonna be a very good part of the video. All right. Let's give it a shot.
right, so I think I finished the front. It doesn't look great. I did the back also. Not the best result. Now I'm gonna do sunroof. It's not done yet? No, so look at this. Oh, what happened? I gotta do the sunroof. So what are you gonna do with it? What do you mean? You're gonna cut it up? Yeah. So I gotta cut. Yeah. So which uh, Fast and Furious movie was this feature? <laughs> None of them. I thought there was an evil in the Fast and Furious. An, an older one. Which the, one was that? Uh, the 7 and the 8. And it was Paul Walker who drove it? Yeah, he drove the 7, he drove the seven in Too Fast and Furious. And then in Tokyo Drift. Oh, Tokyo Drift is a different actor. Yeah. On with a twang. Yeah. I think his name is Lucas Black. But yeah, he drove that red Evo. So this one's this one's obviously newer than that. <sighs> okay. Now's the part where we do where you can do the most damage. Heat gun. All right, we're gonna hit it with the heat gun. I'm gonna properly use that wrap glove. Hopefully that evens out some of the dumb stuff I was doing. I guess what I'm gonna do is try to install these. I have two for each side. I got two clips left. Great. up before it gets too dark and then let's get the hell up out of here it is 9 30 you know just another one of my classic projects that take all day so it's gonna be hard to see. I might have to just try it again in the daytime, but it's a black roof. Yikes. Yeah, there's a lot of like touch-ups and stuff on the edges I definitely need to do. So I saved a little bit of the wrap for when I get another opportunity, like you can see. Yeah, it's gonna be a little jank. But, for the most part, not too bad considering I, I just about gave up, like, midway through, you know, it was on my way to just sort of ripping it off and just throwing it away. <laughs> so, yeah, a lot of lessons learned, and one of which, if it's your first time, maybe don't do it by yourself. You know, I just get really impatient. 
I just have a hard time, you know, not being on my own schedule. So that's what happens. I mean, it's not like I didn't take my time. I started a long time ago. Yeah, it's 9.30 now, so. Oof. Luckily out here, it doesn't get start to get dark until 8-ish, 9-ish this time of year. So I lucked out a little bit, but yeah, man. Here's the roof molding clip graveyard. Rest in peace. Yeah, let's have to wait until tomorrow where I can get some decent light and I can show you the actual work. I don't know if you want to see it in the light. There's, there's a lot of messed up parts to it, but from far away, it looks decent. You can't really tell. I guess that's cool. It'll photograph okay. Oh man, all right, well, yeah. Project like this, don't do it by yourself. Thank you. 